What's up, y'all? It's the holiday season. So we're trimming the tree and hanging those stockings above the fireplace. Speaking of stockings, it's time for our stocking stuffer haul. T for Toya or for toys. Either one works. We're going to take a look at a few items that could be the perfect stocking stuffers for the miniature enthusiast in your life. And it's okay to admit that it's for you. The only thing is that it has to fit into the stocking. First up, Barbie shoe packs. I found this at the Dollar Tree, which makes it pocket friendly. And it can totally fit into the stocking. We get four pairs of shoes and this cute little shoe rack. It's pink with glitter embedded into the plastic. All of the shoes are some form of heel, even the tennis shoes, those are a wedge. So these are going to work best with dolls who are standing on their tippy toes or who have ankles. In addition to shoes, there was also a headband pack. However, they're not all headbands. We actually have two necklaces, two headbands, and two pairs of sunglasses. But both packs are a dollar each, so yes. For 97 cents at Walmart, we found these surprise boxes, perfectly sized for the stocking. They come in a lot of different themes. This one is a beach theme. You don't know what you're gonna get. It can be an accessory or even a clothing item. Let's open this up to see what we have. And it is a watch, a bracelet, and a clear purse. Definitely for the mermaid loving doll. And there is a small collector's guide so you know what you're looking for. I really want this tote bag, so let's try again. Come on, come on, tote bag! And we have a pineapple. Okay, that's not a tote bag. Polly Pocket. The name says it all. With a name like Polly Pocket, you better fit in my stocking. Ah, uh, come on, come on. Yes! <laughs> Success. I absolutely adore Polly Pocket because they make the perfect dolls for dolls. And teeny tiny accessories. Do you know what this is? This is a potty. A little potty so the baby can learn how to use the potty. Here we have Polly, a baby or a toddler wearing a bear onesie, a teddy bear, and a miniature room inside of a locket. We have a crib right there, little rocking horse, and a play area. The baby can fit in the crib and Polly sticks to the floor so she can stand up. And it looks like the baby can fit on the rocking horse. <gasps> it can! And the little rocking horse moves! Okay, I love this. Then everything closes up neatly inside so it's portable. Disney Princess Comics! I just love their little facial expressions. These are surprise boxes. You don't know which one you're going to get. Do they fit into the stocking? Yes. Now we can proceed. Let's just open this up. Inside there is a sticker. If we look at the sticker, it's gonna totally give it away. So let's just go right to the little bag and we can tear it open to see our minifigure, which is Cogsworth. It looks like in series four, they are kind of uh, translucent. So you can see through them a little bit. He is sitting on a pillow and they connect to a small stand that looks like a speech bubble. If your doll is like a Disney fan, this would be perfect on the mantle. It also comes with a sticker and a collector's guide. Oh look, Cogsworth is rare. Briar Horse Mystery Surprise. I am a huge Briar fan and I like to use stable mates for like statues and stuff in the dollhouse. You can find these at places like Walmart, Tractor Supply, and briarhorses.com. Inside we will find a mystery horse, but first, does it fit in the stocking? Yeah! 
Since these are surprise bags, there is the possibility that you may get a double. So you've been warned. All right, we're gonna open this and our horse is so pretty. We have a beautifully painted brown horse with white markings. These are less than $5 and they make great gifts to anyone who is horse crazy or who just wants a really pretty statue in their dollhouse. And if you find the paint and play kits, they're already white, so you can paint them whatever color you want or leave them as they are and they make great statues as well. Mini Winnies are another one of my favorites. These are super small and they make great model horses for dolls. There are a lot of different horses to collect. I think these were like two or three dollars. I actually picked up a whole bunch last time I was at Briarfest for a dollar each. So score! and they fit in the stocking. Now let's see which one we have today. Ooh, it's Kira. It's a black horse with a gray mane and tail. I have a briar horse on my mantle in my real house, so it only makes sense to put one in the dollhouse too. You also get a sticker, which makes a great mini poster and a collector's guide. I was at Target and I found these at the front of the store, like, you know, where they sell the Pokemon cards. It's a Real Littles surprise bag. Real brands, real cute. Inside, we will find one Shopkin, one mini pack, and one collector's guide. And yes, they fit into the stocking. This is my first time seeing them in a plastic bag, so I don't know, has this been out for a while? But I love the Real Littles because they look great in our doll kitchens. We got pudding. It says snack pack pudding chocolate. The top opens inside. We have two plastic bags that contain, what do you have? It looks like pudding. So we have chocolate pudding to go inside of the pudding chocolate snack pack. There is also a collector's guide, but I'm not sure what series this is. It feels like an earlier one. Right next to those real littles, I found Wacky Packages. The official Wacky Packages Minis 3D Punny Products. I want to say these are around $5, maybe like $5.99. Don't quote me on that. On the Wacky Packages mini website, it does say they can be found at Target, Walmart, Amazon, and Five Below. I like how there's a little picture window on the top where we can see at least one of the surprises. I didn't have this one before, so I'm very excited about that. Now, just keep in mind, Wacky Packages are a little different. They're like a spoof on popular brands, and um, some of them are, you know, kinda out there. Let's remove the top. I oh, hope I don't break a nail. Come on. There we go. And uh, we now have access to our first surprise, which we already knew what it was. This is Putrid Cat Chow, the high smell cat food. It looks like a box, but it's pretty solid. There is a plastic brick on the inside and it's wrapped with a sticker. The image does go all the way around. Then we have a sticker. This one says Scram. And there are more little packages on the inside, including a collector's guide. So we're just gonna pull everything out. Here is a Super Impulse mini catalog, the Wacky Packages Collector's Guide, and now for our Wacky Packages. Each one is individually wrapped, so if you wanted to stretch them a little further, you could open the box up and then just put one in everyone's stocking. I mean, it's an option. In addition to our putrid cat chow, we have Kraken of the Sea, which is supposed to be tuna. And then we have sick blood stick pins. And, uh, come on. Uh, horrid spray deodorant. And for our last one, we have jolly mean giant peas. 
great miniatures for the dollhouse, and if you squint in your eyes, you don't even realize they're wacky packages. Silverfish crawly crackers. That sounds gross. I do really appreciate how they're made of plastic and they're hard, which means that they're gonna be pretty durable. Here's our second sticker, and I would love to find the milk, but I do believe that one is rare. Yep, it's rare. But who knows? Today could be our lucky day. And this is not milk, it's gum. And this is log cave-in. <laughs> I'm sorry, I dropped it. Log cave-in syrup instead of log cabin. <laughs> I get it. And here we have macaroni and sneeze. Ew, that's gross. But if you're up for a great laugh for the holidays, then wacky packages might be just the thing for you. With a box of Wikis. Calico Critters. They have these cute little accessory packs. You can find them at like Walmart. This one online at Walmart was like $8.50, which isn't terrible. Now Calico Critters are pretty small, but many of their accessories work great for one six scale dolls. And here we have the microwave cabinet. We have to see if it can fit in the stocking. And yeah, it does. And of course, you can always use calico critters with calico critters. I just say one six scale because that's like my favorite scale. On the side of the box, you can see all of the items included. And on the back, there is a large picture of the item. It shows you other items you can collect and some of this product's features. Now let's open this up so we can get a good look at that microwave. Did I totally just open this box wrong? All right, let's try from this side. All right, we're opening the box. What? How did I get this confused? Okay, there we go. It comes out right there. We have a tiny little cabinet and these doors actually open and there's a little glass detail there. It's actually plastic. I could totally see this being hung on the wall in a little country style home. Ooh, maybe it's a little spice rack with a storage underneath. Or it's a play kitchen for the little Barbie toddlers. Maybe Jungkook and Jin are cooking in the kitchen. Here's the microwave, and it is kind of small, but if you don't have a lot of space, then this is perfect. The door can open and the little knob can turn. And when you turn it, the back turns red. So you can pretend like the microwave is actually working. That's cool. Here's Mini Toya, so you can see it in relation to a Barbie doll. We also get a small little apple pie in a red dish, which we can pretend it's just a little tart and a cookie sheet, which makes a shelf inside of the microwave. So we can put our little tart inside, close the door, and we can turn the knob and cook the tart. Yup. Totally tiny lunchbox surprise. Series one, I totally love totally tiny. I bought this off of Amazon. It was two for 10, which I think is a little high, but you know, I really wanted it. It has no problem fitting into the stocking. On the top, it says, surprise, slimy ooze topping. Remove the outer plastic, remove the paper, and we have a little lunchbox that says, totally tiny. It opens, and inside, I have a little cream puff pastry. I think that's a cream puff, and there's icing on the inside and a totally tiny jar of chocolate syrup. Here's the slimy ooze. It's orange, and you can use it to play with your totally tiny figures. I prefer them just as they are. A collector's guide is included, so we can see the other items in this series. And yeah, it's a cream puff set. Oh, look at that. They have hummus and we can use the lunchbox to store the items in. So I like it when there's usable packaging. The Child, series two. This is the Bounty Collection, Star Wars Mandalorian, The Child. This is absolutely perfect for the sci-fi loving fan in your life. 
Just saying. Easily fit into the stocking. I saw these at Target Online and on Amazon, and they were like two for $15. Hint, hint, family. Hint, hint. I am mildly obsessed with this little creature here, who we now know is... No, no, that's a spoiler. I shouldn't say that. In a recent episode of The Mandalorian, they do say his name, so if you haven't watched it yet, you might want to do that. These little figures have a ton of expression. I absolutely love them. They are finished all the way around. Look at those little feet. There are different poses. Look at him pushing that button when he knows he ain't supposed to do that. Here he is in his little carrier. Look at that face. He's in a little backpack and he looks so happy. Well, here he's not so happy. Chilling in a helmet. And then there's this one where it looks like he's uh, having a difficult time with orange soda. To be honest, it doesn't matter what he's doing. He's just so cute. Here is another cool find on Amazon. Remint are great gifts for people who love miniatures. I bought this on Amazon. It was $12 a box. They are less expensive. You can buy an entire case, but you know, the whole case will cost more, but the price per unit would be less. So, you know. Plus, that way you get a complete set. Right now, we don't know what we're gonna get. On the side of the box, you can see all of the possible options. In this collection, there are eight different ones. Kind of hoping for the hot cocoa. You know, holiday season and all. Gotta do the stocking test. Yeah, we're good. Now let's open it up. They're pretty easy to open. And inside we have number eight. Love Morinaga. Morinaga. I am not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. There is a paper insert showing the product. Some stickers that need to go on to this. I gotta concentrate. Stickers make me a little nervous. Ah, oh, not bad. I totally did it. Ah, uh, there's more. That sticker went on top and I think I did okay. The container is filled with a snack. There is one that is loose and we can put that right there. There's a little bag that goes with these so we can place them inside and it looks like you just opened up a treat put together the little box. There's a little package and a little loose cut treat. They're miniature, they're cute, and they're perfectly sized for the dollhouse. Speaking of miniatures, here are mini brands. Zuru 5 Surprise Mini Brands Series 2 featuring mini brands that we all know. Haha, <laughs> get it? They're mini, mini brands that we all know. <laughs> okay. This was $6.99 at Target. They can fit into the stocking. Pull the little perforated zipper on the side. Remove the first layer of plastic. Remove the second layer. Remove the little plug thing and then voila. I never get tired of that. Now we're gonna open these up and get out our mini brands. If I can grab a hold of it. Our first one is Strawberry Jello. Then we have, ooh, it's a gold one. Blue Diamond Almonds, lightly salted. They're so fancy, we can totally leave them out on the coffee table over the holidays. Two down, three to go. Here we have some salad dressing, Thousand Islands, and the collector's guide. Check that out. Our gold almonds are super rare. Let's see, what else do we have here? The spices are really well done. They're just a little large. So if I was to use this in my one six scale dollhouse, I would just pretend like they're economy size or I can use them with our smart dolls. And our last one is Almond Nut Thins. Almond and rice cracker snacks. So, um, yeah, five realistic miniature items for the dollhouse. All of the boxes are made of like a cardstock, and the other items are plastic. Nothing actually opens, but I'm okay with that. 
And of course, Zero Five Surprise launched toy mini brands this year. Perfect. They open the same way, remove the outer plastic, remove the inner plastic, take off the top, and voila. Oops, I got carried away there. But it's definitely difficult not to get excited when they are carts and baskets. Okay, so yeah, there's a little cart here. I'm really just in it for the little toys. But you know, these are fun accessories too. Everything snaps together. Add the stickers. And you have a little basket on wheels. Our first toy is, ooh, from Shimmer and Shine, it's the Teeny Genies Zara Corn Play Park. This is new for me. I didn't have this one, so yay. It's a cardstock box and there's something inside so it doesn't crush easily. I can wrap that and place it under the tree or just do what I do in real life and just put it in the tree without wrapping it. Yeah, I'm totally guilty for not wrapping presents, but I can open them. Does that count? Ultra clean washable markers by Crayola. That is adorable, super tiny, and very cute. Who doesn't love art supplies? And up next, we have a miniature shine from Shimmer and Shine to go with our miniature playset. And our last surprise is uh, slime. Okay. Yeah, it's a tub of slime. There is also a collector's guide so you can check off your collection. Ah, look at you. Didn't I tell you to leave that slime alone? So there you have it. A few items you may find in stores and online this holiday season that could make great stocking stuffers. And if you want to hang on to your duckies, there's always crafting. If you've got a catalog, then you can make your own toy mini brands. This is the Amazon catalog. I'm just looking through to find an image I can use. Forward-facing pictures are my favorite, so let's go with the Fail Fix dolls. I carefully cut the picture out, glue it onto foam board. If you don't have foam board, you can always use stacks of paperboard. I'm using a glue stick to glue it down. We want some really good coverage here. Cut it out. I'm adding a second layer to help it stand up. Glue cardstock onto the sides. Now I'm going to cover it with tape just to protect it, giving me my very own toy mini brand. Then I went through the catalog and I was able to make a few more. So now we have the LOL Surprise OMG Remix Super Surprise. I added a paper handle to the top. I made a Nintendo Switch and I have two games. And I think they look pretty good next to the real toy mini brands, giving us more items to place in our stockings. Thank you for joining us for our 2020 Stocking Stuffers haul. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time. Bye! Yes, every time the snow is falling down and it is cold outside, we gather around the fireplace and no one cares about yesterday.